Good morning, Facebook. I got a question for you today. Why is it that coffee, when it starts to get cold, starts also tasting more sticky? Right, like when it's hot, it goes down nice and smooth. But once it cools off, I've had my coffee for what? Got it about three hours ago. Um, and now it just, it's like I gotta wash it down with some water. I don't know why that is. Is it because all the sugar settles at the bottom and that's when you get to the bottom hours later, if you pace it like I do? I don't know, but today's daily dish is a doggone doozy. So let's do this. Let's dish. Yeah, feeling a lot better today. So. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! I'm not gonna lie, today, is a slow news day. There's a story on the front page of TMZ about how Kim Kardashian settled a fender bender case from 2014 through her insurance company. You know, like a normal person would. No big lawsuit, no big payout. She just filed her paperwork and everything was taken care of. And there it is on TMZ. I guess the reason it took so long is why it's even a story in the first place. Because the other guy in this minor crash originally was planning to file some kind of lawsuit. Most likely because he realized it was Kim Kardashian and he figured he could squeeze her for some money. But nah, didn't pan out. And we get this riveting anti-climax. Since its creation, Star Wars has primarily been the story of the Skywalker family with other bits of supplementary information added along the way to fill out the universe around that central theme. Once Disney acquired the rights to Star Wars, they wiped out the vast majority of the expanded universe canon and said there would be a main story, the Skywalker saga, and then other spin-offs like Rogue One and the upcoming Han Solo standalone movie to give us more background details. But now, that's going out the window. There's going to be another Star Wars trilogy that's not about the Skywalker family with completely new characters. Ryan Johnson, the director of the upcoming Episode Eight. The Last Jedi is going to be in charge of this new trilogy. Now, from the sound of it, this is going to take place after the current trilogy, not alongside it. So my guess is that the Skywalker saga may wrap up by the end of Episode 9. But, you know, it probably won't stay wrapped up for long anyway. Originally, according to George Lucas, the Episode 7, 8, 9 trilogy we're in now was never supposed to exist. But Disney correctly saw the franchise as a license to print money. So here we are, and I'm not complaining. Taylor Swift's new album, Reputation, is out today after a full two and a half months of lead up and hype, but <gasps> it was leaked online yesterday. Now it's doubtful this leak will hurt her overall sales since it was only leaked a day ahead of time and there were tons of pre-orders. Plus most people who would want to listen to a leaked version of the album probably weren't gonna buy it anyway. As one fan said, quote, I couldn't listen to leaks. I don't know, it feels wrong to listen to a Taylor Swift album for the first time if it's not on release night, screaming about each song with the rest of the fandom. No, not to sound like a Taylor Swift stan necessarily, but that's how I feel about my favorite artist's new releases. I like to acquire them legitimately once they're actually released. And say what you will about Taylor, but she's not stupid. She knows her audience, which is why she implemented that ticket sale tie-in stunt in, uh, with her album pre-orders in the first place. She shouldn't have anything to worry about, although it will be interesting if she falls just shy of her projected 2 million album sales and we're left to wonder what would have happened if it hadn't leaked. But hey, that's material for her to write about on her next album, right? <coughs> oh my good God! My throat dried out about halfway through that. Oh, that's a struggle. See, I'm still feeling much better, but still not 100%. And it's like, oh man, all I want to do is take a drink of water or clear my throat. But no, the show must go... I shouldn't wave that bottle cap around near the board. Um, The show must go on. So now, what I'm going to do is sit here, <coughs> and I'm going to detail all the stuff we have to win in just a moment, because I always do that, but I need my water. So hang on, bear with me here for a second. God, why does this water taste so dry? That's such a weird thing to say, right? It's water. It's like, is there anything more wet than water? I can think of a few things based on what Nicki Minaj says about her anatomy in every song, but um, we've got, let's see, let's do, where's my, where's my sheet? 
All right, so coming up after 8.15, we got Kevin from BurgerFi coming in to do our NFL Pick'em Challenge. So that'll be your shot at $25 to BurgerFi if you get the game right this weekend. Um, and you get to pick the game, or if you don't know anything about football, I'll pick it for you, and you got a 50-50 shot. If you guess the, if you predict the winner correctly, $25 to BurgerFi in your pocket. Um, Crew Love Concert Series, Times Union Center, December 8th, DMX, G-Unit, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of et cetera. So there's a lot of names attached to this. Um, I'll be giving those tickets away after 8.40, and then another chance to get in the running for Jams Jetaway number three, Chris Brown in Atlanta. That's coming up at uh, just after 9, during the high five and 9. And that wraps up today. We'll be announcing that grand prize winner this afternoon at 4.40. So don't miss it. No cubicle show today. It's Friday. It's how we roll Monday through Thursday. So we'll be back. Um, I guess the next time we'll be live streaming will be Monday morning for another Daily Dish. So until then, may your weekend be the brightest of all weekends. Happy Veterans Day. Um, thank you to all those who have served. And I guess uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace be with you.